Hi, you are about to learn 10 strategies to help sell your house for more money in less time so you can get on with the important goals you have to accomplish. What you're about to learn could literally be the difference between thousands of dollars in your pocket or thousands of dollars in your buyer's pocket. With these 10 home marketing secrets, you'll have a huge advantage over the competition. Before we begin, consider that your imagination is the most powerful tool you have to improve the value of your property, and it's free. Here's how. Step out of your own shoes and step into your potential buyer's shoes, then take a good, realistic look at your house and property, and consider, is it appealing? Can you imagine yourself living there comfortably, or do you imagine yourself putting in a lot of work to make the house and property acceptable? Most buyers are interested in three things about a property they're considering. Visual appeal, landscaping, spaciousness, cleanliness, color, lack of clutter, maintenance, everything in good working order, nothing to repair or paint, safety, locks and deadbolts, burglar fire alarm systems, busyness of the neighborhood. If a potential buyer can't form a good mental picture of living in your house, no sale. With this in mind, you'll want to give your property a good hard look from the outside in. You want a fabulous first impression so everyone will want to come inside. Strategy one, get your house sold, not your home. Immediately allow yourself to mentally move out of your home and begin to call it a house. Say to yourself, this is not my home, it is a house, a product that once sold will allow me to have what is truly important. As you're making the mental decision to let go of your emotions and focus on the fact that soon this house will no longer be yours, picture yourself handing over the keys and envelopes containing appliance warranties to the new owners. Say goodbye to every room. Don't look backwards. Look toward the future. Strategy two, eliminate clutter. One, one of the major factors in getting your house to sell quickly is simply put, make it attractive, which, eliminate, which means eliminate clutter. Most buyers select their home based on emotion and then justify the decision with facts. So it's important to make the house inviting and pleasant. Yours is not the only property the prospective buyer will see. You are competing with model homes that may be professionally decorated and homes with no children or pets and Mr. and Mrs. Perfection as owners. People collect an amazing quantity of junk. Consider this. If you hasn't, haven't used it in over a year, you probably don't need it. If you don't need it, why not donate it or throw it away? Remove all books from bookcases, pack up those knickknacks, clean everything off kitchen counters. Put essential items used daily in a small box that can be stored in a closet when not in use. Think of this process as a head start on the packing you'll eventually need to do anyway. Strategy 3. Tidy closets and cabinets. Rearrange your bedroom closets and kitchen cabinets. Buyers are nosy and will open closet doors and cabinets. Think of the message it sends out if items are falling out. Now imagine what a buyer believes about it when she sees everything organized. It says you probably take very good care of the rest of your house as well. This means pack everything from the cabinets and all closets that you don't need on a routine basis. You want to create a percep perception of roominess. Alphabetize spice jars, neatly stack dishes, turn coffee cup handles facing the same way, hang your shirts together, buttoned and facing the same direction, line up shoes. Strategy four, smells that sell. Food smells can work for you or against you. Baking bread, cookies, and pies are good smells. Spaghetti sauce is a delicious smell. Frying fish and liver and onions is objectionable. And of course, nowadays, the smell of cigarette smoke is offensive to many. If your house has an unpleasant smell, use scented candles or fragrant fresh flowers. If you have pets, you need to get rid of pet odors. It is recommended that the pets themselves be kept out of the way and out of the house during showings if possible. Some people get uneasy around animals and this may detract from the prospect's attention. Getting pets out of the way is unfortunately much easier than getting pet odors out of the way. If your flooring has been repeatedly stained with animal urine, you'll probably have to replace it to get rid of the smell. That means carpet, pad, Carpet strips and baseboard trim, even subflooring, will need to be treated to kill the odors. Strategy five, optimize with minor repairs. Replace cracked floor or counter tiles, patch holes in walls, fix leaky faucets, fix doors that don't close properly in kitchen drawers that jam. Replace burned out light bulbs. If you've considered replacing a worn bedspread, please do it now. Strategy number six, liberate their imagination by depersonalizing the house. 
depersonalized. Pack up those personal photographs and family heirlooms. Buyers can't see past personal artifacts and you don't want them to be distracted. You want buyers to imagine their own photos on the walls and they can't do that if yours are there. You don't want to make any buyer ask, I wonder what kind of people live here. You want your buyer to say, I can see myself living here. Strategy seven, dazzle them with an empty garage. The garage and storage areas are the catch-all where everything goes that has no other place to go, so they're usually a mess. Therefore, if your storage area isn't neat, no one would surmise that, that you must take really good care of the whole house. Empty everything out of the garage, hose down the floor, and if there are stains remaining, paint it porch gray. Paint the garage walls off-white using a flat latex paint. Now after the paint is dry, put everything back in the garage piece by piece. Throw out what you won't be taking with you, pack what you can, add to the stack of neatly labeled boxes, then organize what's left. If you have a storage set, organize it the same way, and if it needs a coat of paint or stain, do it. An open bag of charcoal will absorb moisture in the storage shed. Strategy eight, negotiate with curb appeal. Is the paint fading or chipping? Is the color outdated or too personal? Is mildew growing? If the house needs painting, choose a neutral color. White, cream, not yellow, and light gray are good colors for appealing to most people. If you want some ideas for paint combinations, look at three or four model home communities that cost twenty to $50,000 more than your neighborhood and copy them. Keep the sidewalks cleared. Mow the lawn, rent a pressure washer, and spray down sidewalks. Trim bushes, plant yellow flowers, or group flower pots together. Yellow evokes a buying emotion, and marigolds are very inexpensive. Make sure visitors can clearly read your house number. Strategy nine, oust your extra stuff to a storage unit. Rent a storage unit. Almost every home shows better with less furniture. Remove pieces of furniture that block walkways and put them in storage. Remove extra leaves from the dining room table to make the room appear larger. Leave just enough furniture in each room to showcase the room's purpose and give the buyers room to move around. You don't want buyers scratching their heads and saying, what is this room for? Remove your favorite items. If you want to take window coverings, built-in appliance or appliances or fixtures with you, remove them now. If the chandelier in the dining room belonged to your great grandmother, take it down. If a buyer never sees it, they won't want it. But once a, you tell a buyer they can't have something, they will covet it and it could blow your deal. Pack those items and replace them if necessary. Strategy 10, welcome the new homeowner. Make it sparkle. If you don't have the time or inclination, hire someone to thoroughly clean the house. Clean windows inside and out with white vinegar and newspapers instead of rags or paper towels. Clean mini blinds. Replace curtains and drapes. No, clean the curtains and drapes. In the kitchen, clean appliances inside and out. Remove grease and grime by scrubbing with undiluted vinegar. Scrub the inside of the refrigerator with baking soda. Not only does it not scratch, but it removes odors. Get rid of kitchen odors by pouring salt water down the drain twice a week. Grind citrus peelings in the garbage disposal. Have bathrooms scrubbed to pass a white glove inspection. If tubs are rusting, have them reglazed. Clean the tub grouting. Recock the tub and shower. Polish chrome faucets and mirrors. Hang a set of designer bath towels on the most prominent rack. Vacuum often. Wax floors, dust furniture, ceiling fan blades, and light fixtures. Deciding what to do first. The most important thing to think about first is this. Fix what you can see. Cosmetic changes, regardless of the cost, will make a world of difference when it comes time to sell. Keep in mind that, the mo that the, what you want, the best return on your investment. When you make cosmetic changes, you maximize popular appeal. People will see what looks great and they'll picture themselves living there. Strategy one, get your house sold, not your home. Strategy two, eliminate clutter. Three, tidy closets and cabinets. Four, smells that sell. Five, optimize with minor repairs. Six, liberate your imag their imagination by depersonalizing the house. Seven, dazzle them with an empty garage. Eight, negotiate with curb appeal. Nine, oust your extra stuff to storage. And finally, strategy 10, welcome the new homeowner, make it sparkle. Please don't let this overwhelm you. We will schedule a one hour appointment. I will help you determine the cost effective changes that will work for you. And now that you're ready, simply call me at 619-741-0111
and we will get started. I'll talk with you soon.